Hello, Lena Catherine. Hello, everybody. Um, have I got something to share with you? <laughs> uh, I have finally managed to finish my projects for my swap with Lena Catherine, and I'll put the link to her YouTube channel below. And uh, I had like so much fun with this. This was an amazing amount of work. Um, <laughs> I think it's. Uh, yeah, next to my steampunk mini album, this is probably the most, um, <laughs> what can I say, time consuming, yeah, and this is probably the most time consuming project I've ever done, and uh, um, we arranged to swap a box, and uh, this is the box that I created for her, and uh, uh, I she cho chose the theme of steampunk, uh, romantic steampunk, and I was not allowed to use any pink. <clears throat> so this is my interpretation of a theme that I really didn't think was possible. <laughs> I when she told me she wanted romantic steampunk, I was just like, okay, now there's a challenge. How on earth am I going to make something romantic steampunk? So this is it. I don't know if uh, you agree with me um, on my interpretation, but this is the best I could do. And I really hope, Lina Katrin, that you like uh, what I've created for you. So let me just share the details of these uh, creations here. So first, let's look at the frame. Um, I altered... Uh, a normal wooden frame uh, as you can see it's this type here and there's glass in it so she can put any kind of picture she wants in it and um, I have painted it white and I've used some gold rub and buff uh, here and there on it and I have made this uh, flower arrangement thing here using one of my large metal flowers um, this is just an applique flower and another metal flower, again, a piece of trim, and then a piece of the, the trim that I got from Annie in Garden Grove here on YouTube. I'll put a link to her shop below. She's got some gorgeous trims. And um, I used some metal leaves. I used metal corners. I used this ribbon all the way around. It's a loopy ribbon, and I really like it. It's, um, uh, it's nice, I think. And I used Annie's uh, beautiful flower bling trim, trim uh, all the way around and then I lined the edges with this Chinese braid here as you can see and I wanted I don't know I got a thing about things dangling from frames I guess <laughs> so I had to put something dangling from this one too and I had this heart that I used previously and here is just so that you can see that I have sinned I have used some pink <laughs> But uh, I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> and uh, I just hung this uh, fleur de lis from the bottom here. So this is um, a polymer clay heart that I made a while back. But I thought it just fit the, the theme romantic steampunk. So, <laughs> okay. And there's an, another trim from uh, an East Block shop. So that's that. And then I wanted to make her a necklace in the same style. So I did. Uh, I used the flower, the, the the same trim, you see the layering, and then I put a cameo in the center. And I just uh, put one of those little things that you use when you want to hang something uh, that you made, like polymer clay or a frame or something, and it's quite soft. So that's on the back, and this is just uh, a piece of leather uh, cord thing. Yeah, so that's the necklace. And then I saw Trisha, a little shabby chic. Hi, Trisha. I saw her video and she made uh, this uh, gorgeous um, thing like this to just put around your <coughs> wrist. I don't know what they're called, uh, but I wanted to make one. So I made one for her and I kept it in the same style as the necklace. So if she'll ever wear it, she can wear them and they'll match. And just some appliques, the trim from the frame here and another piece of trim that I've just layered. And this is just some cotton fabric that I tore to get the ruffled edges. 
And uh, yeah, that's that. And then it's this one. It's decorated um, uh, following the same sort of um, pattern. And uh, yeah, it's like this. There's room for whatever inside of it. And there's a Velcro closing. So lots of trims and cotton fabric. And it's probably what you call crazy quilting. I used Fabri-Tac. I didn't stitch stuff. I'm not good at stitching. <laughs> so um, then I altered uh, her a letter. Lina Catherine is her name. So I altered the letter L for her. Uh, I made this uh, dangle charm here using a swivel, swivel clasp from Tim Holtz. Some charms that I got from Anna. Thank you so much, Anna. And uh, this I got from Annie in Iraq. And um, these are just some bead caps and, and glass beads and uh, uh, a light bulb and a key and the fleur de lis. So uh, this um, bird hair sitting on this. I First of all, I have to say, I used, um, this is a wooden letter that I altered and I did it the same way I always do. <laughs> I just painted and inked and distressed and used masking tape and painted again and yeah, just grunged it up. Um, I also used a lot of stuff from Crafty Emblies, all these wooden pieces here that you can see here uh, and this. And this is from Crafty Emblies. I also used some uh, die cuts. This is a die cut. The wings are a die cut. This is a die cut. And uh, the die cuts I have run through my embossing folder and then I've uh, painted them and used rub and buff on them. So uh, to distress them and make them match my project. This is a clock charm. And this is a metal flower, the same metal flower that I used to create all the other things that you've seen. And the pieces of trim from Annie's shop. A leather cord that I just glue down and twisted a metal uh, what do you call it a filigree metal thing here on top of the heart and uh, the crown up here is from crafty emblies love their stuff and this is just a wooden bead that I attached to this thing this is also from crafty emblies this um, letter here L is uh, just a chipper letter but this wooden letter is behind it. And when I turn, you can see that there's an L on the other side. Here is a piece of metal. Filigree again. This I got from Anna. Thank you so much, Anna. And uh, I captured the moment, so to speak, <laughs> here. Moment. And put it in the jar. It's been a golden moment creating for you. <laughs> or lots of golden moments. And I hope you like what I've made. Uh, a pearl. Flatback pearls here and there. And um, yeah. The wings here on the side more trim as you can see and the back side of the letter i like the back side to be nice too even though you normally won't see it um but uh, if you like you can blame dyslexia or something and, and turn it around sometimes <laughs> here is a heart and um and uh, this is just a, a bow, a pearl bow, and uh, pieces from Crafty Emblies. And this is a cameo that I have painted and used rub and buff on to, to make it match. And this is just a piece of mirror here, a mirror tile that I put in the center of those flowers. A piece of uh, pearl trim, Annie's uh, trim, more pearl trim, more trim from Annie. I just tried to use some of the same. This is from the trim from the wooden frame. I tried to use some of the same embellishments to just make everything coherent. And uh, I think it uh, turned out pretty nice. And I'm really, or to, to tell you the truth, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you like your, your letter. And uh, yeah, this is just a, a glass bottle. Uh, I didn't say anything about that. Uh, a glass bottle and I just uh, decorated the top here. And this is uh, a filigree that I got from Anna. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> and I just tied a, a wire to it and attached it that way so it's loose. And uh, this is the stamp from Graphic 45. It's the, the bird with the funny glasses. And I just 
thought I, I wanted a bird to sit here on this um, clock handle. And so he's sitting there. So yeah, that's my romantic steampunk letter, or it's Lina Katrin's letter. And then the box. Um, this started out as, I want to show you. That's this box here. This is the base. It's a box filled with pieces of sugar, brown sugar. So that's the foundation for this. And uh, I can start explaining the lid for you. Uh, I made a new lid and I just decorated with papers inside and I put trim around it. And, uh, and this is some embossed, uh, uh, what's it called? Some kind of cardstock um, that I can't remember, but it's uh, so that if you distress it, the, the other color shines through or so. And the metal corners. And I made a, a little metal box into a um, pin cushion. So that's the sort of the, the pull for the, the lid. And I made her some pretty stick pins. Uh, I used beads from Fiona and uh, yeah, bead caps and a lot of yummies for these thick pins. I think they turned out pretty beautiful. And uh, this piece of uh, lace here is from Leonie. Thank you so much, Leonie. I just colored it. It was white and I colored it. And I have some white felt felt under it. And uh, there's like this cottony filling thing inside. And this is just a metal butterfly and a cameo. I colored this uh, cameo and used rub and buff on it and I have um, a filigree backing for it here. Again, Annie's trim, um, pearl trim, Chinese braid. This is um, metal tape on paper that's embossed and painted and rub and buffed. So that's the lid. I'm sorry, this is taking a lot of time. Um, there is um, a mini inside. And uh, I used Cynthia Luhu's or Annie's lace binding method for it. And I made um, the cover. And uh, these pages are made out of paper. <laughs> I just had to see. And um, yeah, there's a little pocket here. And, uh, and there's a flip up like here. And... Uh, yeah, just a, a little simple uh, mini for her. I just wanted to to give her one. I don't know if she'll ever use it because it's tiny, but um, I think it's nice. <laughs> and yeah, just very simple pages in this mini. Mm -hmm. Trim from Annie. And stick pin and... A bead spray and some feathers, a piece of the flower, the metal flower that is sort of um, going to, it's, it's on all my projects or all the projects that I created for her. And um, the rest of the box, I lined it inside with the, the paper. This is Mariposa paper and um, metal pieces stamped and embossed and uh, of little flower from I am roses I just hung some uh, fertilis here and uh, these chipboard wings are covered in metal foil tape and then run through my embossing folder and uh, I have just drawn them there is no dye for this they're hand drawn so and cut and uh, to to make them stick I needed something to support them right so they're glued onto these little shadow box thingies here mm -hmm. this is a, a lid from a paper mache box that i cut in half so that i got e uh, like ah, i don't know what it's called the same size uh, box on each side so that it will be symmetrical i i wanted this piece to be symmetrical and i used some of the paper in here paper here Paper, 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 <laughs> another lid from uh, another paper mache box that I made into a shadow box. Uh, this is um, uh, this little 
thing here goes through and it's uh, attached with this bead here just a, a piece of um, um, or a metal gear from Tim Holtz some um, lace from Annie um, again a metal filigree crafty emblies Annie's trim more of Annie's gorgeous trim wooden feet here's the bottom of the box and uh, uh, this metal key and crafty emblies all the wooden gears are crafty emblies and these are just some gear charms that i got off ebay um, more of those um, mirrors and yeah and then this opens like so so she can put her own uh image here or picture if she wants to if she gets tired of looking at mona <laughs> and uh, this, this is just a piece of uh a, a sticker trim and um, it's closed with magnets like this and uh, yeah the lid just goes on you can choose which way you want your lid and which way you want your box and yeah so <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just getting exhausted from all the talking <laughs> I hope I didn't bore you too much and uh, I really hope uh, Lynn Catherine that you like what I made for you I had so so much fun making this and i am so thrilled with how this project turned out and yeah so uh, thank you all for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon <laughs> and i can't wait to to receive my own package from lina Catherine. i know it's going to be something gorgeous in it so well yeah have a wonderful day everybody see you again soon Bye bye